It is October and that means Halloween and trick or treat will be here before we know it. Is all that candy good for your teeth? Joining us from Simpson Dental, we have Dr. Kristen Simpson. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, I know that dentists always talk about this time of year. Let's talk about yes. some dental health survival guides when it comes to all that Halloween candy. There's definitely going to be a lot of candy around, so I'm going to give you some tips for how to make it through this holiday season and, and hopefully maintain healthy teeth and not get any cavities. So first thing, when you go trick-or-treating, you know, it's later in the evening, so you can go make sure you take the kids on a full stomach. So give them a real healthy dinner um, before they go trick-or-treating, so when they're out there getting all of that candy, they're not as tempted. Of course, they're gonna eat some, and that's natural, but they won't be as tempted to eat as much of it that evening when they first get it. And should we really be mindful of what types of candy they choose, especially when we're talking about teeth health? Definitely. So choosing the right candy is important for what you allow your kids to have and also for what you pick to hand out for trick or treat. So when you're picking that bag of candy to get, try to think of things that won't stay in your teeth for an extended period of time. So really the best thing is chocolate. So the pure chocolates, because they actually have a more neutral pH, they dissolve in the mouth pretty quickly, um, and they're, they're better for the teeth than any of the other types of candies. So, you know, the candies that are real sticky are staying in your mouth for an extended period of time. So those are things you wanna stay away from. So like the Laffy Taffies, the gummy bears, of course, definitely stay away from any of the hard candies like the jawbreakers or fireballs. So really stick with the things like Twix or, you know, Hershey's, anything that has just mostly chocolate in it. And what about limiting that stash of candy? Um, elaborate on what you mean by that because I know some kids just want to go all in and eat all of it. <laughs> That's right. So if you're kind of hiding it away from the kids and only giving it to them around meal times, because the, the worst thing for your teeth is that constant exposure to sugar throughout the day. So you want to make sure you're only eating that candy, you know, when you're having meal times so that that pH in your mouth can neutralize and you can fight against the cavities. So, you know, whether it's drinking throughout the day or eating throughout the day, you know, that's what you want to stay away from. So by limiting the kids' exposure to that candy will help with that. And Dr. Simpson, I know in my house, I feel like Halloween candy lingers for quite a <laughs> long time after Halloween. Yes. Um, are there ways that right. we can donate the candy and, you know, kind of still have our Halloween treats, but also help other people? Yes, and there are some great organizations that you can donate candy to. I mean, I think a lot of local places do it, but there's also um, Operation Shoebox, and you donate the candy to troops overseas. So that might be something fun for you and your kids to do together, to kind of package it up and be able to mail it off to you know people that are serving our country. Really good ideas. Dr. Simpson, thanks so much for sharing all these tips for healthy teeth with trick-or-treating. We appreciate it. Well, thank you.